Wake up now family, Jason Elrod and welcome to this week's Inside Look. This week I'm here in the Big Apple for the 2014 Regional Conference in New York City sitting here with Justin Hoffman. Justin? Hi Jason. How you doing man? I'm doing good. Nice to good. meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good bro. We met, we met at least twice but it's cool. Um, man, it's been, uh, it's been one fun year hasn't it? It's been a blessing. So we, uh, you were one of the first leaders in with Gerald and Robin that we got this whole thing started and started the East Coast movement and therefore the Wake Up Now movement. Talk about, talk about the last year, man, from the way the world as you see it. You know, you're one of the original believers in the company and one of the pioneers, and now you're sitting here, you got a good team, and the best thing I hear them say about you is, is that you're a really, really solid leader and you're a good guy, you care about your team. So talk about the last year and where we've been. Awesome, you know, when I saw Wake Up Now, it was February 10th, um, Mr. Gerald Wilhite called me up and he just said, you know, I have two things I'd like to share with you. Something that we can help a lot of people, one, by getting out of debt, and two, by actually earning a residual income. And I understood the power of residual income, but I also understood how it could change a lot of lives. And when I saw Wake Up Now, I immediately caught a vision of doing that. And I drove a stake in the ground and I never looked back. And I remember sitting at home and making a list of the people I want to share this with and yeah. you know, I got to work so it's just been exciting. Cool and full disclaimer for everybody out there we're sitting in my hotel room in New York City got Times Square in the background and we got 15 leaders sitting here watching Justin and I shoot this so for his first line he may have been a little nervous but <laughs> we, we've met at least twice. Yeah <laughs> we, we did. <laughs> or, or 20 or 30 times. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about how you got started in the industry give it a little bit of your background you've been a hard worker your entire career and uh, just take everybody through that. So it was around four and a half years ago, um, Gerald Wilhite flew in from Sacramento, California um, with my wife's cousin, his name is Matt Gatiss, and they, I was introduced to, to network marketing around, around that time. And you know, when I saw it, I, again, I saw a vehicle to help a lot of people. And you know, I also saw you know, a lot of success stories. You know, I was reading books, I was reading uh, self-development books and I saw people just winning at a high level so I knew that the industry was changing a lot of lives and that's what I liked about it so when I got started um, you know I did it part-time I work a, a swing shift schedule making chemicals and I just I don't mind my job I just don't like to schedule and if I could work network marketing part-time and create a, a full-time income I knew it would be a blessing and, and with wake up now it's been a blessing this this past year because you know, so many people are seeing me do this and they see that, you know, just a normal guy from a little small town can do this. Anybody can do it. So when you have that vision for other people to see it, it that brings a blessing back to me. And that's what I love about Wake Up Now. Yeah. And when you say anybody can do it with the disclaimer, you got to work hard. You work hard. You just don't sit home and just, you know, somebody knocks on your door with, the, with, with some money for you, right? <laughs> Absolutely you not. I mean, you know, nothing worth having comes easy. You have to right you know, put some time and energy and, you know, sacrifice, but the sacrifice is worth everything. So when you got into the industry, were you successful right away or did you have to learn some lessons and, and actually develop yourself as a business person in this industry? I had a lot of failures. Um, you know, my, my story is just nothing but built off of failure. Um, my first four months in network marketing, I couldn't sign up one single person. Um, I, I didn't know what I was doing. And then I started to plug into the people that were having success and you know I surrounded myself with people that were winning and I knew if I did that I would start winning but I just had to be a copycat and I started copying the right cat so to speak and you know and that's what worked for me. So what are some of those lessons you learned and what are, what are the things you've copied people? What, what are some of those things? Uh, mindset. You know this, this business is all about having the proper mindset. Um, you know, and you know, people are out there designed to hold you back. And I realized that this business, no one can hold you back but yourself. Right. And you know, if you read books like The Slight Edge, uh, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon, those books literally, you know, help me grow as a person because I knew when people tell, you know, out there in the, in the business world, they're like, listen, most people don't read a book their whole life. You know, pick a book up. And I started doing that and I started working on my mindset and that's what changed. Sure, so we, we talk about learning from each other. Uh, Gerald Wilhite told me in, in Cancun, he said, you know, I did never did three-way calls. He was in the industry, I never believed in it. Until I watched some of these young guys and Justin and his team do three-way calls. You have something that, that you refer to as the PS3 system. Talk about that and how that's helped you. Well, the PS3 system, um, just that's what really grew my business. Um, I'm a real simple person. I like to keep things simple and 
PS3 it just works because you know you're designing a system where anyone can do it. You know, P stands for peak interest. You know, S stands for show the deal, and then obviously the three stands for a three-way call. And I think at the end of the day, when you bring people in that system and they realize that you know, hey, I was just on the phone, I was in the system, I was talking to Justin, and it works because facts tell, stories sell, and people love to hear stories. And when you're talking with your prospect and they hear another person come on, they realize like, wait a second, not only is you know, my, my friend doing this, but someone else is having success. They see it, they catch a vision, and it just grows from there. Yeah, well, I've learned a, learned a lot since I've been in this business. A lot of the business principles in network marketing are the same in any other company that I've ever uh, owned or done. But uh, the thing I've enjoyed most is meeting good people, and the thing I've really enjoyed about working with you is you care about your, your uh, upline, downline, sideline. You're just a team player, and sometimes it's, you know, went against you. You've helped people out to your detriment, and. Uh, you know, you're winning big because of it, and I think you'll build a really solid foundation from that. And a lot of people, I don't think, recognize that. They just do what's good for them, but they don't always help for the betterment of the team. And sometimes in any business, fast business isn't always a good, strong business. And so I think that foundation you built, I think that will help you for years to come. Absolutely. And, you know, again, back up the day when I first signed up was I caught that vision and I drove all my leaders down one leg and I truly believe, you know, looking back that day is, you know, it, it created momentum within my team. Right. It wasn't, I didn't run, run to my front line to benefit myself, I benefited the people that were in my life. And so many, so many lives have been changed because of that decision. So it's not about, um, you know, rushing to the top with me. I'm here, um, I'm one and done. And I truly believe, wake up now, is my final final resting place because uh, so many lives have been changed. Yeah, we're, I was with a group of leaders yesterday, and we were talking about uh, uh, it's a it's a marathon, not a sprint. Absolutely. And you're one of the best at that. Well, buddy, I appreciate it. Look Thank forward you. to spending the rest of the week and having a good time. Thanks Absolutely. for coming out. Remember, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Build a strong foundation in your business. We'll see you next week.